Uh, if you need to best fit all of your column widths, right click, you can say best fit all columns and it will automatically resize all the columns to the best fit. So once you've played around with it a little bit and given yourself a master format that you want to build from um, and you want to create a new report, simply select your, your uh, master copy or any of the any of the uh, sample reports if you want to base something off of one of those click the add report button this will allow you to save that view as a new report so I could just come in here and give it a new name I'll just call it test report and you'll see that should add it right here then I have my master format as well as a copy which is my test report and the name of that report it should be listed just above the reports from that point, any changes I make to um, to this report will only apply to that test report. Now, if you want to come in and, and start making some changes to the color layouts, you'll just go into the report settings. And again, this is specific to each report. So if I go under styles, you'll see um, I've got the selection color which is when I click on a cell it's highlighted in that color and sets the font to a 12 point Arial bold font. If I wanted to change that I'd simply select the color, um, change it to some other color, maybe I'll do a bright green and click OK and you'll see that's now changed. So now when I select a field it's in a bright green color. Um, you have your content even rows and content odd rows. That's how I set my um, every other row color. Uh, the filter bar color. This is the filter bar at the bottom. Then we have the header color which are your column headings. And the group color so that when you group by a certain heading the group color comes into play. And then I have my footer which is at the bottom. Now title properties and footnote properties um, you can actually type in some text or whatever you want to put for your title on on your report uh, maybe you want to add a couple paragraphs to the uh, top of your report um, maybe only on the first page if I set that and click OK go to my print preview you'll see not added whatever text I typed in that box will add to this uh, to the top of my report something that you can do as well if I go to my settings hit my title properties maybe I wanted to do something like this job name I could actually put the property for slash job slash name and that should pull the name of my current job at the top of the report so if I click OK go to my print preview and you'll see here's my job name is my 0705 2010 um, but you can put your job name essentially any you could pull any property that exists on the job itself so um, you could have the job name job description uh, things of that nature if you have a custom system and you have other um, fields in there you can report against those fields as well or if you wanted to include the name of the report which I can get there by going to title. If I wanted the name of the report in here, I could simply just do a, a open bracket name and it should yield the report name. There's my test report. Now under my page setup is where I have my options for header and footer settings. So I could have my date printed. Um, maybe I wanted to have some information in the in the middle of that bottom uh, footer of the page, uh, page numbers. 
I could add a company logo um, if I had um, something I wanted to put at the top. I could go under my fill effects. Um, I could put a, a picture to the background for a fill or uh, if I go to select a picture I could certainly find something that I could put in the uh, background of a, of a field. So you certainly have that option as well. You can adjust your margins to fit. So if you had a company logo, it would be a matter of putting it in one of the cells um, and adjusting your margins on the reports. Now you could also, on your uh, headers, um, once you added your image, um, you know, you could put your company name and address. Uh, in one of the other remaining fields. So if we print preview this, you can see uh, you could add your company name, address, contact information. Again, you have full control of what fonts you set, what the what the font sizes are. And if I look at the bottom, we've included the date, um, a report footer, and then how many pages of whatever is being printed. Now something else you'll notice on this report is I have the little plus and minus icons from the grouping. Um, we can turn those off again. That's under the report settings. And these options here um, are what are going to show when you print that report. So if I say I don't want to see the expand buttons, that will take those off. I go back to print preview. Now you'll see those have been turned off. So the other thing that we can take a look at, um, you'll notice on some of these reports, I did a cost versus sell um, report. And if we expand some of these, you'll see I have the price total, I have the cost total, and then I have a profit difference. And the way I attained the profit was under the columns tab. If we go to columns, you'll see there's that formula column that I mentioned earlier. Um, in that formula, you can actually just take um, any properties uh, and build a formula from that. So while I have a profit column, I don't have a profit property in any of my items. So therefore, I just created a column, um, took my price total, which is a property, and subtracted my cost total, which is, again is another property, to give me the result that I wanted to see in the report. So what that did was then give me the ability to uh, give me the total uh, sell price for my project, and then I have a cost on that project, and then I can see my gross profit. So hopefully this gives you um, a, a, a fair understanding of how the reports work and certainly it should show you why it's so important to know what you want to get out of the system before you spend a lot of time up front building all your parts and assemblies only to find out that hey I want to report in um, in this manner but can't do it because I don't have the necessary properties to do it. So this should give you a pretty good understanding of how to go about doing that.